Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 50. Number 50. So, um, we're in a, continuing this invasion battle defense thing, which I still would go on record as saying that the AI should not have been given a chance to do. I think they only had a 1.5 to 1 ratio. And the minimum you're supposed to have is something like 3 to 1, but that being said, we did get reports of two transports being sunk here, and one transport being sunk here. So I'm a little worried that maybe the transports are able to make it over here. I'm not sure if that evasion, invasion will actually trigger, and I presume, I shouldn't presume, I, I, I would at least assume that any invasion that which is triggered will be just immediately thwarted because they shouldn't have any ships left to really maintain that superiority after you know after all this one of the interesting things i noticed is that we have three red dots here and i zoomed in and we have some medium bombers making a naval strike we have some 20 flying boats making a naval strike and we have another 19 flying boats making a naval strike on the targets here which is awesome i really hope that we actually get to see those things do some damage um, the Bismarck is our main concern right now. We want to get her home, regardless of whether or not we uh, save the invasion or not. Like, you know, this invasion, in my head, it shouldn't have happened anyway, right? So <laughs> we're just going to pretend that it, you know. One thing I could do is probably just ready the last few aircraft that we have, which is one torpedo bomber, one dive bomber, and see if they can just go ahead and... Yeah, so it says say that nine will be used to spot, which is this number, but obviously we only have one available, one available. Um, so I want to go ahead and ready these. I, I know it's a little bit funky, but let's just do this, ready the strike, because it's the end of this mission almost, and we want to make sure that anything we can do to stop the transports from getting there, we can do. I don't know how close they have to get, I kind of wish that we might actually have a battery nearby. No. I'm wondering if we'd have a battery nearby the uh, uh, landing point. Maybe not. I would have thought we would have a coastal battery, you know, with all these six inch guns that I have. I guess the six inch guns, do we have them on Puerto Rico? I guess we do. Oh, it's a 10 inch coastal battery. Apparently we inherited these from the British, or the um, Americans. Six inch, another six inch. So why wouldn't these be, oh, those are Panama. That's why we have those, because they are not on Puerto Rico. They are on our other holdings. Okay, so anyways, I guess that if we had a naval gun, there might be one protecting there. I think that it's kind of a lost cause. We're going to have to just eat it. If the transports have already made it, then that's just the way it goes. So, priority number one, as I said right now, is just to protect the Bismarck, get her home. And the North Carolina is actually as good of a ship as ours. I think we already talked about the fact that she has only slightly lower, one inch lower caliber gun. And that's still pretty significant. Um, she actually has one half inch heavier deck and I think one full inch heavier belt, which is the case. So she's basically just a perfect, a perfect trade-off. 24 knots to our 25 knots. Yeah. So hopefully we stop the flooding soon. We're going to get the light cruiser to dissuade these carriers from pursuing us. It looks like they're, they might actually be turning, no, if they were turning into the wind, they'd go northwest. So our plan is still to bring over our second battleship division, which is now firing. I think I actually put them on not firing mode. No, I think we will just continue to fire since we don't want to fire at the North Carolina necessarily. I think we want to be firing at the these probably all got reset. We want to fire at the South Carolina. Although, is she going down? 
she is. And she is not. Okay, with well, the Suds Leafa just kind of put an end to that. So let's get her not to fire any more torpedoes. She has one remaining. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, but we'll save that one last one anyway. Yeah, okay. So then you guys will go up here. That is looking quite good. We don't want anybody firing at the North Carolina anymore. They're both, they both are, of course. So how about the Saratoga? Can we fire on her? If we can hit her, that's going to be just massive. And I think let's aim for this other one as well. Okay, good. She got the one hit that we needed. That's probably the end of her. Oh, not yet, but I'm assuming with... Nope, don't assume, right? When these guys get close enough, they probably will blast her with some more 4-inch guns, which should bring her to an end. How's the Bismarck doing? I th Well, her flooding is being controlled relatively well. So, by the way, you should go to squad max. We want every bit of speed out of you we can. We are turning. Is that to launch some things that we already have? So four dive bombers. This is perfect. Let's uh, target this location and launch this strike. Let's also ready the other groups. Well, we don't need to ready that group of fighters. That's fine. But we'll ready this group of eight, which is quite nice. So we'll ready that one. Uh, before I change that, they're on heavy. Good. Good. I want them to be on heavy. I, it might be time for you to actually separate the Bismarck. That will give the Kaiser Penguin a little bit better free reign. So let's go ahead and detach her. Oops. We're going to slow her down to 16. She's going to putt home. This is going to allow the Kaiser Penguin to break off and do her own thing at much faster speed. I actually think we might send her up to try to attack these. This is a battle cruiser still, but we will have you deploy smoke. We kind of want to get out of here just intact at this point. Turn off the division names. Never like that. Yeah, so I don't know how close these guys are coming. I think they're patrolling the wrong area. So they're not even going to get any hits looking over there. Kaiser Penguin, who are you targeting? Let's set your ship target to... That. Bismarck, your target should be... That. Okay, good. And we'll even run you a little bit north away from her. And you guys are already attacking various independent, unidentified, independent, unidentified ships. Yeah, so the four inch guns are going to start rolling on in. I just have a mind that, she, yeah, she is officially sinking now. That's good. Had a mind that she would be getting there. And, yeah, nothing left really on the carriers, but this is fine since I imagine we'll be getting to the end of. Oh, it's another battle cruiser. Another Rochester, 14 inch guns. Not too worried about that, actually. More worried about, yeah, that's good that you're attacking that. I'm more worried about hitting the carrier. So it's a bunch of four inch guns. So maybe the Kaiser Penguin is supposed to go after this one. Yeah, we'll have this group go. I think that this group's more or less okay. Let's look at the damage percentages. 4%, 0%. Yeah, perfect. And the Kaiser Penguin's actually 28%. Okay, good. So you'll go after the Battle Cruiser. We'll have these guys steam north in an effort to harass the American carrier group. And there they go. They actually launched their torpedoes. Somebody mentioned this in the last one that we have all those torpedoes. Why aren't you doing anything with them? Four, five. Ooh, five torpedoes. 
We'll have them hold on to torpedoes for now, because we don't need to continue to do that. We might actually have the Bismarck launch her torpedoes at the North, the South Carolina, though, just because there is uh, really no sense in having her. She doesn't really need her torpedoes. She's not going to go ambush anything. And it, look at it. it actually let me launch, even though the light cruiser is still moving in. So I would say that the friendly ship in line of fire thing is bugged. Like, let me just leave her on a more or less a course. Eh, okay, those torpedoes are going to get there first. Still doesn't make me feel right about the fact that <laughs> I'm able to launch those where many times we've had... Oh, are they going to miss? Uh, one hit. Okay, that's fine. Plus we're, you know, blasting. Oh my god, Kaiser Penguin, please, 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 good sir. Oh, they've reattached. Okay, so we need to immediately detach again the Bismarck. And Kaiser Penguin just moved south in a hurry. So we can build up the separation from you two. Gonna have the light cruiser come back and actually escort the other ones. Oh, okay, we have stuff going on. <gasps> oh, this is the, I was I thought this was the, the air, the naval bombers, I'm sorry, the flying boats and the medium bombers doing an attack, but no, it's an attack on our airfield. So not too important. Yeah, so we want you to go after her and you are engaging her, right? Good. Let's have the Bismarck continue to sail just due west now, making her way back towards port. Those are really where her guns are going? No, yeah. Does that mean that they're out of ammo? Why do we only have one turret firing? And take you down to 25, head you north. G88 sighted an unknown ship. Oh god. Here we go. Okay. Why? Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, yeah, it looks like they have landed. Or, they're still moving. They have not. They do park when they're landed. Come on. Go faster. Get there. I'm only seeing two ships here, which is not going to be enough to trigger the invasion. So it looks like they are going to strike these aircraft. Are those torpedo bombers? Those are dive bombers. That's actually quite nice. It's a good group to be reaching there. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have a lot available here. A little bit annoying that I have to do it this way, but hopefully that's something they just are fixing in the future. So it looks like a lot of our sh uh, aircraft are back and ready to be re-readied. Okay, so we know that these are the accurate numbers now. So we can just look at these numbers, which is a lot easier to do. 10, 13, yeah, 5, that's fine. We'll take the 8 and the 9. Um, at the 10, the 7s. And we will... H... Yeah, no M's. That's the only thing I wanted to see. So we'll ready these for a strike as well. So Zugs, whatever, is only got 18 torpedoes left, and we readied more than that, I guess. So let's drop this. 10. Ready. How did that happen? It went to zero. I think it... I don't know what happened, but... I don't know. We'll find out in a second.
Okay, well, that's... I don't know what we're running into here. The Kaiser Penguin will soon be in range to help. Uh, yeah. I know that... I think these are actually legitimate... Unfortunately, legitimate... Battle... Or battleships. GD8 may end up eating it here. Sternbringer takes a hit. We have to be okay with that, I think. Nope, it's a carrier. Really want to bring that carrier down. <laughs> okay, these are the transports. Sternbringer's just getting pummeled here. That's okay, she's a tough old bird. I think she can handle it. Okay, good. Finally a hit. Those seventeen inch shells should be just wreaking havoc on the on the enemy. Hmm, it's gonna slow us down a bit. Hmm. Had to cough there. I don't know, we might want to just get out of here. The main bridges are pretty dangerous. Um, these are just a bunch of destroyers and two transports. I think we will just get out of here. Like this is not the kind of threat I'm worried about facing. Boy, man, these guys are not doing very well in this first engagement here. I mean, this the first opening volleys. Whoa, boy, jeez, holy cow, not a good fire control damage, of course. Well, we're gonna go around the island then, just head home. God damn, fire started. This crazy, crazy battleship is firing rear guns and destroying everything. Crazy. Doesn't make any sense. Bring the Sub Zifa down here. Okay. Kaiser Penguin's hitting the Rochester with her foreign shells. Well, I don't think that's going to get the job done, buddy boy. Bismarck is now also attacking the Rochester, which is good to see. There's two 17 inch shells. That's what we want to see. But they're pursuing, you know, it's you know up to them to be smart enough to disengage. It's not our not on us. Now the final strike we're readying here, I think that this is the one that we take after the carriers. God damn, we're doing that thing again where we can't possibly fly straight. I mean, can't sail in any direction. Let's move back just to keep warding away the transports, but only two, I'm pretty okay with that. Oh, Bismarck scored a 17-inch hit. And she has turned away well. You know, you've done this to yourself. Kaiser Penguin's gonna... is out for blood now. The problem is that Bismarck still needs to get home, but she's controlled her flooding completely. Yeah, I think that... Yeah, we'll go ahead and just move on home with this group. Probably daddle around a little with the Kaiser. Trying to pursue this Rochester. The Bismarck could go north and go into San Juan, which is not that much further. And less dangerous. <laughs> I think we're going to do that. Launching her torpedoes. I'm gonna forbid her from launching any further. She's just here to run these guys off the island. But if it's only two transports again, I'm not too disappointed by that. It means I maybe I've sunk another one. Because five, six, two, two, five, and six means that 
one, three, and four are unaccounted for, and we only have two here. So where are those? Hit. Oh, I thought it was a hit. That would have been very, very happy. That would have made me very, very happy. My goodness, what time is it? The only fear I have is that if I don't run the Bismarck home, she might be torpedoed. Can you guys, for the love of God, can you just... They become completely uncontrollable at the end of the game. Enemy aircraft are approaching battle cruiser divi battle division number 11. Is that these guys? It is. Alright, huddle up, boys. We have some dive bombers. Well, that's the best situation for us, considering <laughs> our, uh, our deck is 5 inches, <laughs> so it's going to be very hard to do any damage to us. Kaiser Peng was just on her own over here. Okay, bomb hit near miss. 38. Somebody mentioned that maybe there's a bug with the light anti-aircraft, which means it has diminishing returns at some point. It does seem to work that way, doesn't it? It's a little bit strange to me that with their heavy 27, the and I mean, this is two of them next to each other. So they should have 50 total. Wait, is it actually giving us 25? 25, yeah. Should be 50 total between the two of them. That doesn't count for the... What do you have? Do you have anything? No, you don't have anything. So the Slickting doesn't have any anti-aircraft she can contribute. They're probably not including the Bismarck either. Anyway. Speaking of... Yeah, quite a factor of 10. I don't know where that number comes from. Is it only half the amount or something? She's definitely going slow, so we'll catch up to her. Oh god, please just go squad max this way. No, please! All right, well, we're just gonna have to launch the strike with, with whatever we have at this point. Yeah, that is ugly. What happened to this group? Whatever, it's the last one. We're just gonna send the whole frickin' kitchen sink at them. Oop, not the ones that are unready. Okay, so ready to ready, perfect. And then the bottom two. Where are you going? Going after the American carriers which we went around this island. They were last seen somewhere over here. Just choose that and launch. Yep, go ahead. Go sink them. See, no. Why are you guys so stupid? I hate the way that by the end of the game, I think of, I, this is what I think is happening. I didn't enunciate it because I just kind of thought it was obvious, but uh, I feel like the, the groups keep getting divided into smaller and smaller groups. You have more and more groups. And then they're landing. Because the cap, you can see that I have tons of fighter groups with just one in it. Case in point, these two right here. So I feel like it's just dividing and dividing and dividing. And then those groups maybe are coming in and dividing. I mean, coming in and land, landing as groups. So the more groups you have, the more often you're facing the wrong way or turning into the win and I basically would think that unless it's an emergency you would kind of time these things out like okay we know that this person's coming in here so we have like five minutes where we can run or ten minutes we can run you know into the wind to catch them and then we can go for another 20 minutes on some other course Adlifa is just charging on in. We'll give her some support. All right, we did hit the Rochester again. 
Haha. -ha. You wanted this, Rochester. I did not bring this upon you. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. What a great line. Okay, Light Cruiser's going to switch over to escorting the Bismarck. Slow herself down to 20. I know that there's a lot of cruisers over here that... I mean, uh, sorry, not cruisers, but... Destroyers, which would benefit from a light, car uh, light cruiser, but... It's really all about saving the Bismarck. Get you to stop and all this. Get you to stop that. And now let's see what happens. Is this the missing transport? No, that's turning pretty quickly. Yeah, destroyer probably. And there's another hit. Ah, oh, four inch guns. We are very close. Kaiser Penguin does look like she's actually going to be close enough to use her torpedoes here. <laughs> kind of unexpected. Let's just launch torpedoes at the fray. Not for any good reason, but... Nope, oh, can't. Okay, expended. Very good. Conning Tower hit. Rochester take another hit from the Kaiser Penguin. So they're exchanging for this like small arms fire basically. <laughs> I mean compared to what these things are capable of, you would definitely call this small arms fire. She's probably out of ammunition except for this one. Yeah, more or less. Still hitting with the big guns though now, which is good. Let's see what you have. Woo, Sudsleifa took us a hit. That's right, we'll just do not pass go, do not collect $200, just continue right on your way over to port. That's what I was hoping to see. Any hits that we're gonna land should just diminish the, uh... oh my god. Whoops. Had you turn, that's not what I wanted you to do. Boy, I should have been paying more attention. We have much more important things for you to do now. Bismarck actually has torpedoes. Well, you are gonna get it, my friend. Really, just not, I mean, I would, you're gonna say, rightly so, that if I was paying more attention, this wouldn't have happened. I'm gonna respond that if the game's interface allowed an easier way to view these things, <laughs> I would have, or like a better pop-up notification system, I don't know. This log is very difficult to read, as most of you already know since you play the game. So, I'm going to, oh, did we complete the out of ammunition? Yes. Okay, well the only thing we have left is torpedoes. Just feels weird to do, but we're gonna go torpedo her. Oh wow, good, she is opening up with her 17 inch gun still. Still waiting for the ra- oh, there it is. There's the wave. Oh, Rochester. Oh, my dear friend, Rochester. Wrong place, wrong time, buddy. Let's actually go ahead and do this. Stop firing until we get very, very close and we just blast the ever-living crap out of them. I believe that I can actually turn back south because I believe that this is now a dead man walking. So let's go ahead and turn back yet again. How's that working out for you? Yeah, I'm, I get a little bit annoyed by these carrier stuff, by this carrier stuff. It's, it just seems a little ridiculous. Okay, we're probably in perfect position now, so let's go ahead and continue to hold fire with those torpedoes, actually. Is this Rochester, she's actually sinking. Never mind. once again to continue to hold fire. <laughs> 
And uh, let's take kind of a roundabout route around you. So silly. Okay, so stuff is happening. Ah, this is so perfect. They claim that they're approaching an AMC. I believe we know better. They're approaching, surely must be at this point, the battle cruiser, the Rochester. Okay, so no damage so far. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that they are not going to make it all the way to the carriers, but... Yeah, we hit, we hit with a bomb. Another hit with a bomb. Rochester's, what's their... We, we can look at what their stats are here. Two and a half? Four and a half inches of deck. Okay, so those dive bombers are probably not going to do much other than smash the superstructure. Which is, you know, still something. G88 has spotted the submarine. Does that mean they sink it? An enemy aircraft are approaching something which I do not want them to approach. Oh, that's this one. Oh, okay, that, this could be problematic. <laughs> well, we'll just hope that die bombers, again, don't ha carry much of a threat against five inches of deck armor, which, you know, I don't know if that's a good prox a good uh, approximation or not. We got her with a torpedo. Transports are getting reamed now. Got her with another one. That's great. One enemy Bearcat dive bomber. Ah, because okay, so she's evasive, I guess. No, she's not listening to my directions. Yep. Yep. Doing some good damage now, as I was hoping. Go ahead and knock those guys out, and then we'll try to deal with the destroyers as well. Which, honestly, is probably your job. Let's have you hold fire until you can see the whites of their eyes. As the saying goes. Um, this is interesting. Destroyer is coming back from nowhere. And we do have another wave approaching something. Good, good. This is what I wanted to see. Hit those, hit those destroyers. Which are pretty meaningful, I think. Bismarck, you should be going like this. You should be going like this. Main ammunition. You're firing main ammunition. You are. It's, that's crazy. But that's fine. I think we're headed back to port, no matter what, anyway. What is the... Yeah, nothing is ready. I don't even think we're going to get anything ready. So a group of eight fighters sounds kind of fun to get up into the air, just to give us some cap, emergency cap. We have some torpedo bombers and six torpedoes left. Let's see if this works. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, an identified ship. Yes. I think I do want that one to enter. Probably I don't want them to do that. Probably I want them to actually just act as anti-aircraft. So let's bring them back the other way even. This is great. Oh, I'm really happy to see these hits on the hole. If I were them, I'd be very scared of this, but they seem very fearless. Okay, let's go ahead and open up with the guns. Seems like an appropriate time. We're right on top of them. <laughs> She's avoiding torpedoes. Well, no, I'm not surprised, but that was short-lived, and now she can... No. What happens to the... Bombers when they're... 
Huh. What happened to the bombers if you go into the airport? I mean, to the harbor. Is that this one way over here? Interesting. They maybe actually did find the target. I'm already... Oh, man, they're getting beaten up, though. Wish I could click on that and find out where, what, like, what's that, but there's seven left. They're probably going to prevent us, you know, just disperse us from actually being able to hit the target well, though. Shades of... Oh, interesting. They actually found a battle cruiser, I think. Oh, they found the group. The group. Well, they got a torpedo off. We're going after the Bismarck. That's not allowed. Keep hammering them. I mean, there's nothing these destroyers can do unless they hit me with a torpedo. And even a torpedo hit to, you know, this stalled group in the front, not going to do a whole lot. Trying to land those hits. Would really like to sink this, one, this, this group of destroyers, especially after all the destroyer killing they've done for me. Mostly on the strategic map. Man, it's just hilarious how this light cruiser, a allegedly a destroyer killer, is having such a hard time taking out these destroyers. She does have some ammunition left. Midship, port side, starboard side, so, you know, we'll just keep swinging her around, I guess. Left, right, left. Okay, she's finally landed a hit. Very good. As I said, every one of those is just... A little bit more damage, a little bit less possibility for the enemy to return fire effectively. We will pursue this Jarvis, who looks damaged. Not sure what she was trying to do. And it's going to be night time soon. I think that these bombers, for the most part, actually landed before night time. That's not too bad. Probably because they attacked the target earlier than we expected them to, because they went after the, uh, the, the battle cruiser instead of the carrier group. So, I mean, at some point we're going to call this strike to a close. I think we'll go ahead and do that more or less now. Yeah, we'll get them to enter the port. I did that maybe a little bit too early, but... <laughs> oh man, the Bismarck. Just gonna run into the wall here. Try to save myself. The only way a naval captain knows how, which is by turning very suddenly due to hitting the, the ground. Okay, let's turn back this way and just head home. A little bit too dark to be playing out here. Somewhere there was a destroyer here. She is gone. Boy, she disappeared. That's a good disappearing act. Alright, let's get all the rest of them home and let's see what this battle looks like when we're all when all is said and done. Oh no. Just gonna write it out. Get to port. <laughs> Get to port. Oh, it's jammed starboard. That's not good. 
All we need her to do is come to a stop. Let's bring the light cruiser back. So that destroyer is gone. How are you doing? How are you doing? 445. Okay, good. So when you repair your rudder, we'll get you out of here. It's okay. She's basically tanking the torpedoes now. Um, I'm going to get you up to four. Um, just so you can turn and go into port. Yeah, good. So, whoops. You actually are needed to do exactly this. Why? Well, we don't want to be on fast anymore. Might even want to be on slow. That's a lot of avoiding torpedoes. So I, I wanted to turn her. She's now been turned. How are you doing, by the way? Got to be, got to be careful with all these guys. Good. Holy cow, a 17-inch shell. <laughs> Kiss that destroyer goodbye. Okay. No longer jammed. We're just going max speed. The idea is get to port before we sink. She is limiting flooding very nicely. Wow, that's working out very well, in fact. Get you back to port as well. Mainly thing is we want to screen this direction to make sure they can't head towards the absolutely most wounded you can find. Five torpedoes. Five torpedoes. Four torpedoes. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, fine. She can survive. Four torpedoes is nothing. We've seen them survive five torpedoes, so... And we're very, very, very close to port. Obviously, the only reason why I'm so nonchalant about this... I'm not really. I mean, I'm scared to death that she's going to, you know, die, but... Most important thing is to ward these guys off. Actually, her port side ships, her port side guns should be pretty good. Should say I should have said yes to all, but it's amazing how this light cruiser is getting beaten up by destroyers. It's not how it's supposed to go at all. Yeah, so she does still have starboard ammunition for both of her guns. <laughs> Yet, there it is. Finally, some damage. Okay, I saw him peel off. That was what I was waiting for the whole time. Oh god, she reattached. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, if it prevents her from reattaching, I'll get the Stalernus to just turn this way so they are separated. Plus, I want to continue to screen and make sure these destroyers aren't coming back. So we'll have the light cruiser go home. But we'll have the Stellas just kind of hang out, not approach the Sturmbringer by too much. Oh god, there they are again. Not going to give them a, an angle to fire torpedoes. So maybe it is a good thing that we're zigzagging away, making sure to cover our escape. Okay, let's go back up now. Yeah, should be good. And there it is. Mission accomplished. How many ships did we lose? I don't think we lost any. Do we have any ships out? I don't think so.
So yeah, we uh, sink all the transports. We probably let two of them actually get into position to invade, but I don't think that's gonna count. It's gonna be a huge loss for them anyway, because they lost so many other ships. I'm guessing, was it five battleships? One light carrier, maybe two light carriers, who knows? We'll see what the damage is. This one's riding all the way to the end here, 1400. And there it goes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> holy cow. So, two light carriers, that's not the real, you know, gist of it anyway. Seven capital ships, four battleships, all four, four out of four sank. The only one which survived was one of them with the carrier group. The carrier survived. I want to take a look at this carrier again just to make sure I'm keeping a close eye on it. Saratoga. It was a Saratoga. Gosh, we really would have liked to have sank her. 54 ton uh, aircraft. She is a threat. But wow. Intrepid sank. Copahee sank. Washington. Is this? No, this one we, we dismantled. She did take six torpedoes and three bombs, but that was after we had already hit her. This one, you know, same thing, basically sank her. But then this group right here, Rochester, Rochester, Rochester. So three Rochesters, which are not that important as far as battle cruisers go. South Carolina, which is not that important, but now we should be getting to the big ones. Oh my gosh, there was things more valuable than the North Carolina? That's amazing, because this North Carolina, I have to tell you, this is, I mean, it's basically, as we already pointed out, it's basically my um, Sturmbringer class, and I think it's a really, really, really effective design. We also have the Arkansas, which is, I guess, one extra 16-inch gun. Not as good of armor. I don't know why this is worth more points. I don't fully understand the point system, but somehow it is. It wouldn't be in my book. And then we have the Illinois, which is, yeah, also a beast. This is 10 16-inch guns, 5-inch deck. Um, slightly better, only one dual-purpose gun. I don't know. But anyways, that was a very, very effective battle for us. Obviously, losing, this is an infinite kill ratio. Over 10 to 1 on the victory points, 900,000 to 73,000 is crazy. Okay, we got the same thing twice. We did end up sinking seven of their auxiliary ships. I don't, I think that the first strike we did, we conducted, must really have done a number on them. Wow. What the heck? Oh yeah, that's the Saratoga. Okay, so wow, they, they actually pursued us. Crazy. I'm actually a little surprised they didn't hit a mine. That would have been interesting. Maybe they did, who knows. So over in the first strike when we were landing all those, I think that we actually did sink a few more of the transports than is being shown here. Maybe I didn't, I never like saw them or I don't know, they didn't populate on the map. A huge victory. Wow, 50,000 to 5,000, that's insane. The Battle of Punta Yega. I can't say it. For the record, I actually speak Spanish, but I can't get my tongue to do it this late. I need to get more sleep. So we're going to just call this video to a close immediately here. I can't wait to see how this war progresses. Uh, I actually kind of hope it comes to a close pretty quickly, even though we did get the invasion of Haiti repelled, and we would like to very much to control, I think this is the island of Tortuga right here, we would very much like to control Haiti so that we have access to Tortuga, but, you know, we'll live without if that's what ends up happening, since we already took, well, two colonies from the United States so far, and that, and the victory points really convincing here. I'm pretty sure that we should get a lot more when the peace comes. But for now, thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.